I, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz, have covered the entire eastern seaboard in tinfoil. And when I put my giant magnet next to my ingenious magnetism magnifier, I will pull the east in a westerly direction, thereby reversing rotation of the Earth. Ah, behold the destructinator! I'll repair the platypus, but you are too late! Just in time to witness my latest invention, my deflatinator ray, which I will demonstrate by deflating all the tires at the Jefferson County Motor Speedway. Who's got that kind of time? Which is why I created the Age Accelerator Inator. Behold, the Slave Inator. You see, the crowd will do whatever the Slave Inator tells them to do. <laughs> Behold, my Drillinator! I will bore a tunnel to China, build a tall highway, and make millions! Look a little desperate. Hmm? Oh, no, that's, that's not an evil scheme. That's just a giant magnet. I'm going to wave it over my girlfriend's house and erase all the messages I left her. <laughs> because, anyway, let me show you my evil plan. I call it the Copy and Pestinator! At this very moment, termites from all over the tri-state area are being controlled by me using my termite-controlling helmet. See? See? They have cute little helmets just like me. <laughs> I, I don't want to tell you how long it took to put them all on. So, watch this. Soon I will have them devour all of the wood in the entire tri-state area. Behold, the Meltinator 6 5000, powered by thousands of laser pointers. From the dam, I have invented a ray, which attracts wood like a magnet attracts metal. The Ordinator! Get ready for a giant Sunday. Well, this can't be right. Let me see those blueprints. Oh, wait a minute. Those are the plans for a space laser. A nader, apparently. Behold, the voice nader! So, I came up with my own line of monster trucks. Behold! Very evil, don't you think? And just to be sure, I have created the monster truck away nader You know, the monster truck locator! Perry the Platypus? Guess what? That's not a monster truck locator at all. It's a Chinese platypus trap. <laughs> I got you. Here's the real locator. Okay, now where's the nearest monster truck? Behold, Perry the Platypus. Shrinksphere! Oh, that? That's a freezinator ray, but. I don't want to explain it again. I just gave the whole spiel to Peter. The make up your mind, Nator! <laughs> this will be the grand finale of Vanessa's party! The world's largest firecracker! All we need now is a victim to be tied to the rocket so they'll explode up in the sky in a grand display. You see, Perry the Platypus, you are no match for my pigeons. I have conditioned their tiny little bird brains to do exactly what I say by using my brand new, very evil invention called the Poopinator. My new creation, a giant killer robot man. My name is Norm. Before you go, I'd like to introduce you to the Gloominator 3000 Inator. I've invented the Breadinator! Oh, hello, Perry the Platypus. I'd like to introduce you to something. My slow motion Inator! This will blame everyone else in the entire tri state area for being better looking than me! So, I invented this. My ugly Inator! It. Anyway. The whole thing sickens me to no end, which is why I created the sandwich suit to remove Inator! So, Perry the Platypus, allow me to introduce the Media Erasonator! Patent pending, do I want you to meet my latest creation, the giant robotic penguin icy freeze your socks off breathinator thingy! Now, though, he will be the one doing the waiting. Behold! Now, who's blinded by Sandinator? Behold, Perry!
Grab it a platypus! The ultimate suburban weapon! The atomic leaf blowerinator! Hey, about your lack of training and experience because I have an ace in the hole! This! The misbehavenator! One moment, please. Perry the platypus? What are you looking at? Oh, these! Yes, these are my latest invention. Steak specs. I came up with the idea after your last little visit. With these on, you don't have to constantly hold a piece of steak to your black eye. See? See? I plan on mass producing these. I'll make millions! Let me show you. I've stolen all these steaks in the tri-state area, and I keep them here in my steak containment unit, or SCA for short, or maybe it should be SCU. I'm a little on the fence about... Wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh, that? That's just a giant heat ray in case I want to do something evil later. This time, I know I've created something evil enough to warrant your full attention and anger. The Concoction Bruinator! Using my new Descent Evaporator! I can't believe it's Perry the Platypus! Look! <laughs> the science fair with my very first Inator. I, was, I wasn't very clever with names yet. It was just, you know, Inator. Just as I was about to demonstrate my invention to the judges, a kid with a baking soda volcano stole the show! You know what? I don't even remember what this does. Oh, that's right. It just shoots a beam into space. No wonder I lost to a baking soda volcano. The next year, I tried again with my even bigger anator. But never again! Behold! The world's largest baking soda volcano! How will people get around? They will have to buy my latest invention! It's like a car, but it can drive on the surface of water. Behold! You like it? I call it the Buoyancy Operated Aquatic Transport, or BOAT for short. into a concentrated liquid form, which I will spread throughout the festival using my Smellinator! <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Perry the Platypus! Say hello to the Platypus secret agent's arrival in order to foil my evil plot capturinator! Or as I like to call it, my P-S-A-A-I-O-T-F-M-E-P-C-inator. And I swore I would get my revenge. Behold! The hot dog vendor revengeinator! Or my HDVR... I, and Nate, I have to work on my acronyms. You know, I was thinking the other day about how much better you would be as an ally. So, I created this. I call it my turn everything evil inator. Behold, Barry the Platypus, my invisinator. And why? Well, let me tell you my latest scheme. I'm so tired of all these happy couples around me, romantic and laughing, mocking me with their happiness. Well, not anymore. My Delovinator satellite will eliminate the feeling of love in the entire tri-state area. All I have to do is press this button. It would be so easy to press it right now. It would be so simple, but you know, I've got a day tonight and I like to stay optimistic. But if we don't hit it off, I'm definitely gonna ruin it for everyone else. I created the Whale translator I rent. So, Barry the Platypus, tremble in fear before the most twisted, nightmarish creation the world has ever known! The Bogarinator. <laughs> and I plan to bring him to me. Balloons, you see, are drawn to static electricity, so I created this. Behold! The Static electro amplifinator Keep, keep me holding, keep me holding, be holding, and we'll still be holding, and see. Here, I'll show you! Behold! The Kickinator 5000! Hello? 
is for you, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> Prank call! Now, say hello to my new evil weapon, my Evaporatorinator! It's me. How do you get rid of them? My solution is easy, simple, and it starts working the same day. With my Scorchinator, I will target TV towers and melt, smelt, and render them into their basic components, thereby eliminating infomercials. And how much would I pay for this? Nothing, it's free! But wait, there's more. Na th th there's not really any more, that's about it. <laughs> anyway, you've arrived just in time to witness the unveiling of my latest invention. Let me introduce to you the mountain out of a mole, Hillinator! All right, here we go. The energy ball is growing, and... Uh, all right, time for the unstuckinator. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have done this in the basement. I'm here in this volcano on this deserted island because I get all this free monkey labor. I control them all with my monkey and slave and later helmet. And all I had to do was build one of them because, you know, Monkey see, monkey do. Hey, I, yeah, you, you can't put the red clothes in. <laughs> what do you think of my new nanny in Nice, huh? Oh, I, I'm sorry. The, the book seems to have caught up to us in real time. <laughs> anyway, behold, the Bombominator. Ever since those condos next door started allowing pets, it's been driving me bonkers. All day and all night with the barking, barking, barking. Oh, that is why I created my latest masterpiece of evil, giant dog biscuitinator. Thank you, thank you for making my point for me. Okay, anyway, I knew I couldn't appear on the cliptastic countdown empty-handed, so I brought a little something for all of us to enjoy. Behold, the music video clipinator. You see, when I was a small boy, my parents would never let me watch music videos. No, no, I don't have time for an emotionally scarring backstory. Little baby. <laughs> Ta-da! I call it the Yodelinator. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, 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 right, you just think it's a big cowboy hat. It is so much more. See, huh? See? It's designed to make my singing voice sweet and mellifluous. So my first gig is in an hour. Come on, you can help me hand out flyers. With you safely inside the cage, I can unveil my new device of doom. Behold, the Metal Destructinator! But today, I will wreak my horrible vengeance. Behold, the Retirenator! Because, you know, he ran over my foot with a tire and I'm going to hit him with a giant tire. Retire. It's, it's not like a retire, like stop working. It's not that retirenator. That's, that's actually over there. The, I've got it ready. It's filled with crossword puzzles and a big fat house cat that will lay on my belly and warm me into my senior years. Behold the Mimeinator! With this baby, I'm going to trap every mime in the tri-state area in their very own invisible box. I know, huh? Behold, the Naughty Nator! When activated, the Naughty Nectar in these giant glass cylinders will create a massive charged cloud of pure naughtiness! <laughs> when Santa then makes his list and checks it twice, everyone in the tri-state area will appear to be naughty instead of nice. And no nice equals no Santa equals no Christmas! Ready? Let me show you my latest project, the Junk Foodinator! It sprays my special mix of boiling hot high fructose corn syrup and hydrogenated coconut oil, turning all healthy food into toasty warm junk food. Soon, everyone will become lethargic, overweight blobs, easily controlled by me, Appleton! I was just on the way to drop an entire container of Yulg on the Tri-State Adult Diaper Factory. And what is Yulg, you may ask? It's the opposite of glue. A few drops of this will make anything fall apart. See? Now witness Agent P! I... Agent P! How do you like my new shoelacenator? It's the perfect match for my new carbon footprintinator. I made it entirely out of carbon paper I kept from the 1970s. I always thought that was going to come back. Blueprints and search. Ooh, an anti-gravity fun launcher. How about the anti-gravity evil launchinator? There, I changed the name. That makes it mine. This could be the greatest scheme ever. Although I'm not quite sure of the evil applications. Eh, 
Ah, something will come to me. Pity the platypus. <laughs> you like that? I call it my indoorsinator. I got the idea from the peri-shaped hole you left in my wall and, and in my bathroom door and, and in my fridge. Man, you were hungry that day. Anyway, here's my evil plan. Ta-da! I'm calling it the duplicatinator. Get it to duplic, then the number eight, then inator. I bet you're wondering what it does, huh? Here, I'll show you. Oh, hello. You must be here about the ad, right? Well, come on in. It's right over here. Behold, you're wrapped up in a nice little bow, Inator. Deodorant, hairspray, and bug repellent from the tri-state area, all mine. I'm tapping into their ozone-depleting propellants to fuel my latest evil scheme. The aerosol-propelled ozone-depletinator! The citizens of Danville will definitely learn the name of Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Which is why I'm going to travel the globe and shrink the world's greatest architectural treasures just to put them in my train set, see? The shrink a data ray is for the shrinking, the cardboard box is for holding the shrunken treasures, and the bicarbonate of soda is for my motion sickness. Manny the mongoose or something. Now let's see if it lays eggs. Perry the platypus! Say hello to my little friend, my new straight jacket in Ha <laughs> It was tailor-made just for you by my other little friend. It may be small, but it's stronger and smarter than Norm, and it's so much more efficient. No, 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 this. This is the light switch. Ugh, I tried to make it as obvious as possible. But what was that? That was just my prototype Gigantinator, right? It's not, nothing to be concerned about. Give me a hand moving my Amplifinator out onto the porch. Your what? It's my omnidirectional Amplifinator. It will blast my scorching guitar licks in all directions, ripping through the vacuum of space to summon the alien armada that will help me conquer the Tri-State Area! Doofenshmirtz, I see you finally managed to cobble something together. What do you call it? A laterinator? <laughs> No. I give you the Eradicate Rodney's Inator, Inator. What? No fair. <laughs> like a baby. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was looking for. I hate golf. It's boring to watch and tedious to play. That's why I came prepared. You think this is a normal golf bag, don't you? But when I twist this club here, behold, the Acceleratonator! The Acceleratonator? I can fast forward my brother through this boring golf game in seconds. Ah, there he is. Let's give it a shot. Fast forward. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. <laughs> Earth, Ulf, and Inator. The wheel, the light bulb. The frozen pop with two sticks so you can give half to a friend. All profound inventions in their time, but they pale in comparison to the paper cottonator. Brainchild of the world-renowned evil genius, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. I, I was sick that day. This new and exciting inator turns any kind of paper into razor-sharp slicing missiles and hurls them toward an unsuspecting tri-state area. Watch out, Danville. Ouch! Something bit me. That something is evil science, Tiger. Good thing the local pharmacy is fully stocked with new Doofenshmirtz brand adhesive bandages. They're terrific and expensive. And brought to you by Danville's newest soon-to-be trillionaire, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Thanks, Heinz. Yeah, that picture's gonna haunt me. And happy evil. See these little mini volcanoes? They contain a certain primordial ooze that I need for my latest evil device. Behold, the de-evolutionator! I don't know why it kind of looks like a giant fishbone. That's just how it came in the kit. When I unleash this baby on the tri-state area, it will make every man, woman, and child moonwalk backwards down the evolutionary chain, finally stopping at the wimpy little Playa Pithecus. Oh, Perry the Smarty Puss! Behold, the Sandinator! I'll bet you're wondering what it does, huh? Uh, well, 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 it's easy. It causes gritty, irritating sand to wedge itself into your swim trunks, causing you to chafe and get a rash and have a lousy day at the beach. How do you like? Oh, it'll be the only straight building. I just now thought of that. Just now. See? That's how genius happens. It's a lot of leaning and straightening. You get the idea. I'm going to use this tiltinator and do it all from space. 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 Cookie. Space. Wait, my hips were about to fall off. 
Behold, the Alienator! It's a projector that will transmit holographic images of space aliens onto the steps of the tri-state capital. Then, when everyone is scared witless, I will emerge in my King of the Aliens costume. Put it on, so I invented this, the Preemptinator. With this machine, I can preempt all the other TV programs. What? It's genius. Why are you looking at me like I'm an idiot? Would an idiot build this? Oh, wait, wait, not that. That's just a cork with a jelly bean tape to it. But don't judge it. It's a layered idea. Now behold, the Lunar Rotatinator! Oh, wait, wait, it's not up there yet. Hold on. Wait, almost there. Okay, there. Now you can be home. Now I will conquer my fear and jump from the high dive. But you know, I, I still don't want any of these people to look at me and make fun of me. So I invented the look away animator. You'd think it would attract a lot of attention at a public pool, but so far no one's noticed it. Ah, Perry the Platypus, I've been expecting you. Sit anywhere, Perry the Platypus. Make yourself at home. What do you think of my devolutionator? Not to be confused with my de-evolutionator from a few schemes ago. You see, volition is our ability to choose what we are going to do. Whereas evolution, th that's got something to do with monkeys, I think. But this allows me to take over your volition and control what you do, like this, watch. How do you feel, Perry the Platypus? I, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz, have covered the entire eastern seaboard in tinfoil. Again. But this time, when I put my giant magnet next to my ingenious magnetism magnifinator, I will pull the east in a westerly direction, thereby reversing rotation of the Earth. I, I know I tried this before, but that was with a magnifier, and this is a magnifinator. I, I added the totally flat-out Ronic. And speaking of claw machines, I've gathered up all the arcade claw machines in the tri-state area to make one giant super claw! Inator. My fascination with these started when I was just a little boy. A dialogue for it. I'm a condominium. I'm just standing there. See, th th where's the fun in that? It's always the same. I'm a building. There's no story. And I know what you're thinking. Why not just move my chair over to that window over there with the unblocked view? Well, then I'd have to move this little table, too, and, and that lamp, and this is the only electrical outlet. It just seems easier to get rid of the building. So that is why I've invented this. The go away animator. What? Now that you're all comfy cozy, I can introduce you to my rain animator. I've been using it to pour millions of gallons of water into these clouds, causing it to rain all over the tri-state area! Introducing my Combine-inator! With my Combine-inator, I was finally able to make the Triple Scoop Garlic Roach Kong! Man, are we in a rut. Anyway, this is my Dodo Bird Incubator, you know, inator. With this amazing device, I can transform any egg to a dodo egg. Once they hatch, I will march my terrifying dodo bird army across the tri-state area. You know, I don't really know what they look like, but they're extinct like dinosaurs. So just imagine giant extinct dinosaur-like monsters laying waste to the city. My blow itself up, inator! Why? I named my latest creation the Video Beam Hijack Noninator! You see, I added non to the name because non means not. So it's a not an inator, therefore it can't not fail. Get it? I mean, it can't. It can't fail. It's. Okay, so what am I doing out here? Well, I'll tell you. One day, while I was perusing my collection of 19th century almanacs, I learned that the leading cause of tooth decay is saltwater taffy. And that's why I invented the saltwater taffy inator. Y you can't see it from here. I built it on the bottom of the ocean where I have an unlimited supply of saltwater for free. I I'm going to make the sweetest, gooeyest, stickiest saltwater taffy in the world. In the world. Enough to give cavities to every kid in the dry state area! <laughs> now, where's my what? Oh, yes, the green. Uh, I can explain. It started two days ago when I was watering my plant. I noticed a beautiful garden on my neighbor's balcony. Oh, I got so jealous. So the guy at the store told me, among other things, that my plants wouldn't grow because I didn't have a green thumb, and that I should stop bothering with all these plant questions, and that my mere presence in the store was destroying his plants. So I got a big bucket of green paint, and I poured it on myself. Then I was green everywhere. 
Except strangely, my thumbs. I think it was the way I was holding the bucket. Anyhow, I came up with another great idea. I created the Moisture Succinator! See? Some rock-like substance. Cement, maybe. Now, if you're safely trapped, I introduce you to the Metal Unearthinator! All the holes, because the Metal Unearthinator is not even my final plan. May I present to you my real plan? It's the all purpose -inator! You've heard of a man's man? Well, this is an innator's innator. It does everything! Of course, once I activate it, it will make all my other innators obsolete. My wall! Gotcha! <laughs> Behold! The least likely innator. Hand it to myself, Norm's old head. I'm a genius! Oh, is that what you see? Because I'm looking at a lab coat filled with dunkleberries on top of which someone has strategically placed a cabbage. This is my new innator. I call it the pick em up innator. Mm -hmm. So what's this one do and where can I hide when it doesn't do it and blows up? Leave! Behold, the stain innator! What's it for, you ask? I'll tell you on the way. Behold, I give you the very, very bad innator! It's made up of only the most evil parts of my old innators cobbled together without any rhyme or reason. But just in case, I have the rotten innator. With a quick blast of this, my competitors' meatloaves will be completely rotten. Behold, the dull and boring innator. Yes, you open it up, the bus! Wait here. Do you like it, Perry the Platypus? I built it for the 170th anniversary of the Alamo, but I forgot to use it. It makes people forget about what they're thinking right at that moment. I call it the Forget About It Anator. <laughs> I love that name. Forget about it. It's a raisin. It's a fly! It's a raisin. So, I took it to an entomologist. It's a raisin. But on the other side is a fly. Of course, by then, my soup was cold and it was too late for a refund. But now, I will wash Tony's Deli off the face of the tri-state area with my new chicken supinator! Because I can't fight you and drive at the same time. Oh, it's a good thing I installed my hitch a ride innator. Aha! Voila! We are locked together. They do all the driving, and I don't have to. Now, where were we? Wait, hey, where'd you go? Now! The platypus quake in terror as I punch a hole through to another dimension. Behold! The other dimension! Sir, what? What? I finished setting up the buffet. Oh, for crying out loud, Norm, I was in the zone. Away. What about Dr. Doofenshmirtz's amnesianator? I never built an amnesianator. I think I'd remember building something like that. Well, that might work, but uh, you'd all have to agree. On my latest scheme. The other day, I was perusing the internet when I came upon an online auction for a Super multi -inator. I wasn't even sure what it did, but, you know, Super multi was my grandmother's maiden name. It was a sign. I had to have it. But then something terrible happened. A pop-up ad kept me from hitting the Bid Now button. It really hit me where I lived, too, you see. I always hated advertising, ever since the early 80s when I did a little product modeling to finance my first Inator. That's it. Hold the wombat closer to your face. Closer, a little closer. I don't want to talk about it. But then I realized I could use pop-up ads to serve my own evil ends. So I've come up with a whole slew of products and services that I can advertise, and my pop-up anator will put pop-up ads virtually everywhere. I'll make millions! <laughs> oh, that, I, I plan to do evil today, but look at me, I, I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, man, 103, seriously. If I was a hot tub, people would be getting out of me. They'd be all like, wow, Heinz Doofenshmirtz is way too hot. We should get out of him. Anyway, since you're here, I, I taped my rehearsal. I'll just play it for you. Th that'll be just as good. I shot this yesterday. I was feeling considerably better then. La, 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 la. Topeka, Kansas. Topeka, Kansas. Okay. So, Perry the Platypus, I bet you're wondering why I trapped you in this soundproof capsule. Wait, oh, wait. If it's soundproof, you won't be able to hear me. Oh. For generations, philosophers have asked, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? The answer, by the way, obviously, is of course it does. I mean, duh, right? Philosophers, get a job, thinky boy. Now, see, the question they should be asking is, what sound does the falling tree make? Behold, the if a tree fell in the forest in Aethor. Dun, dun, dun. One blast from this puppy will knock over a tree or anything else for that matter, and the sound it will make would be doofenshmirtz. 
I will have eternal fame as the answer to that one philosophical question. I'm also working on a sound of one hand clapping in Aether. Doof and schmerz. <laughs> I'll corner the market! And speaking of markets, I'm out of vitamins. I should really get some before they close, but eh. So I skip my vitamin C for one day. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> so I invented the Mind Transferinator to give that cow a piece of my mind. <laughs> and now, behold, the Gimmelstumpinator! See, Perry the Platypus, I've been setting my sights too high, I think. Trying to subdue a modern city. I mean, it takes a long time to clean out a chicken coop with a spoon. And I still don't see how that was rude. I mean, that thing was a gargantuan. If anything, I was showing restraint. Anyway, today, it is International Good Manners Day, and we've got a visiting dignitary. She's the ambassador from England. Only the most etiquette country in the whole world, hello? And when Roger is introducing her, I'm going to zap him with my rudinator. Spartan army sees me in this. They'll obey my every command and help me take over the tri-state area. And how will I acquire the Spartan army gone low these many millennia? With my historical army retrievenator! Reason Christmas seems to have snuck up on me this year, and I'm a bit behind on my shopping. But I have a solution. The transportinator! I was trying to come up with a perfect evil plan to thwart today's tri-state area summit and weenie roast, and you just gave me a great idea. What is a man most afraid of? It's being in public and suddenly realizing he's in his underwear. So, I shall construct an underwearinator! The size of a car or a building. There will be no resisting the tryptophaniacal level of nature's little sleeping potion. That is why I created the turkeyinator! Wait, can you can you see it from that little door? Do I have to When my butlerinator is finished with you, not only will you have a perfectly tailored uniform and wig, but you will actually think you are my butler. You won't even remember that you fight evil for a living. You won't even remember that you fight evil for a living. You won't even remember that you fight evil. Platypus quit your agency to become my butler. I have been freed up to create my ultimate inator, the vaporizer inator. With my mind now clear, I stumbled onto a scientific fact. Every object on Earth, when heated to a certain temperature, evaporates. With this, I'll be able to vaporize things at will and cause all kinds of mayhem. I'm a genius. For well, this is what we do with birds. We put them in a cage. Can you speak, little birdie? Hello, say hello. Perry wants a cracker. Ow, bad bird. That would not have happened to me if I was smarter, which brings me to my new innator, the duplicate innator 2. You know what they say about two heads are better than one, right? No idea where he is. Not a clue. OK, thanks. Oh, hey, hang on. Say, what kind of an evil scheme you got going on there today? Well, it isn't so much an evil scheme as much as a childish prank, but I've invented a, a mustache -inator. It gives people big, bushy, ridiculous-looking mustaches. Because, as we all know, there's nothing sillier than a big, bushy uh, All right, uh, uh, but hey, you know, it, it looks good on you. Ah, sucker! Do you like it, Perry the Platypus? It's my new Tell the Truthinator! One blast from this baby and people will be forced to tell the truth. It features an Abe Lincoln robot. He doesn't actually serve any functional purpose. It's just decoration, but he's... He's thematically linked to honesty. Yeah. So you play with dolls? Maybe, but, but it also helps me visualize my scheme. It doesn't have to be used with dolls all the time. Anyway, this is our headquarters, larger for the sake of clarity. And this, see this right here? This is my sculptinator. This part will scan my body, and this part will shoot a beam which will then carve Danville Mountain into a lifelike statue of me. Those on the cover of Handsome and Symmetrical magazine, mocking me with their manly perfection. Their perfect hair, their perfect skin, I hate it! And this is why I created the Dehansominator! Soon, all these good-looking faces will be hideous! Ow! Wait, did you use the skeleton key or was it the power tool? A uh, hey, nice clip! Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, I, I like your place. What do you do here? Oh, you know, different things. But today I'm building a juicinator. It's going to turn City Hall into juice! Oh, is it now? Yeah, and then I'm gonna take over the Tri-State area. 
You know, like you do. Well, at least you got a plan. I haven't figured out what I want to do with my life. Don't sell yourself short, Prep. So now I despise pretzels and any pretzel-related entertainment. And now Danville is having its own pretzel festival. Can you even imagine how angry that makes me? Can you imagine? No? Angry enough to create the D-Twistinator! <laughs> we'll see how festive they feel after I turn all those stupid pretzels into boring straight tubes of baked dough, like, like breadsticks, which I also have a problem with, but I'm dealing with one neuroses at a time. And then, when I've straightened all their precious pretzels, I will waltz in and take over the tri-state area! Oh well! There, that's better. I much prefer you trust up in my happy jumpinator. Which goes with the theme of my new scheme. The Baby Cryonator! I know what you're saying, but Heinz, you've already done a baby-themed evil plot. But this time I've really nailed it. Ah, and there's not enough platypus spit in the world to get you out of it. Here, hop this way. Let me show you what I've been up to. Keys, keys, keys! Master keys, skeleton keys, latch keys, skate keys. I love keys. And you know, take it from me. Once you've accidentally locked yourself in a milk can full of cockroaches for a couple hours, you'll, you'll develop a real appreciation. But uh, collecting keys one at a time takes forever. That's why I've invented the Key Findinator! The Find a Keyinator! I, I haven't quite figured out what I want to call it. Cool, huh? Soon I will be able to open any door in the tri state area. It's, it's brilliant. Uh, but my keychain is enormous and it, it weighs a ton, and everyone can hear me coming. What I really need is one key that opens everything the key to the city. I need to quit evil and become a good guy. Well, you see, I just built an inator. I called it the Babinator. Now, it's not what you think. Its purpose was to transform my brother, the mayor, and all of his cronies into a bunch of crying babies. That way, I can take City Hall and the babies taking candy away from whatever they take candy. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, the babinator was ready to go, so I took aim at my brother's office and pressed the button. But it didn't work. It didn't work for like the hundredth time. My evil plan did not work. And I thought to myself, maybe I'm just not good at being evil. That's when I had my epiphany. From now on, I'm going to be a good guy. So here I am. Wow, my own cubicle. How nice. Would they laugh at my brother? No, never. Of course not. Well, things are about to change. Thanks to my brand new chicken replacinator. Back, back, back. This beautiful device replaces anything it hits with a chicken. How funny will that be? Roger gets handed the award and suddenly it's a chicken. <laughs> Sleep inventing. That's fabulous. I'm unconsciously creating complicated and truly evil inators. <sighs> Look at you, so evil. I wonder what you do. Let, let, let's see. <gasps> Wait, how is confetti evil? I, I mean, it makes a mess, sure, but it, is it really evil? I, all right, let's try this one. Big cupcake? Or maybe it tastes evil, yes. Mm, yes, chocolate! The most evil flavor in... <sighs> Who am I kidding? This is delicious. Ugh, let's see what this one does. Oh, no! Does someone need their spelling check? No, I just wanted to do this. How about a hug? Ugh. Hugginator? Unable to resist hugging no, impulse. No, no, <laughs> The Keiko Hugafettianator! Fire! What's happening? Dude, is this cake? Ugh, the cake is hugging us. That is why I created... The Doblominator! You wear it! You, my evil scheme, my, my nemesis didn't show up today, and I still have to get it out. I figured since I'm getting nowhere with the older tri-state population, maybe I should go for the younger demographic. So, behold the coolinator! Well, you can't really behold it, it's, it's out in the car. But trust me, it's behold-worthy. First, I will suck all the cool out of this place, it being the hippest coffee house in town. Then I will blast myself with the cool concentrate, transforming into such an awesome dude that you, this affected youth, will have no choice but to follow me blindly and help me, you know, take over the dry state area! 
Because behold, my de-agenator! With this, I'll turn myself into a 14-year-old boy, submit my film to the festival, and sit back as the people of Danville are convinced that I must be installed as the leader of the entire Tri-State area! Some intricate designs, I finally created the Platypinator! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? I've got just the thing right over here. Behold my double inator! Make the fitness equipment lock inator. Ba -ba -ba. I just run on this treadmill and out comes a sonic beam that locks every other piece of fitness equipment in the tri state area. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone's fat and tired. I sprint into City Hall and take over. For the rest of the day, I'm Sans Perry. I am platypusless. And now, because I still need to get it out of my system, behold the ultimate evil inator! Later at one point, this would have been a really good time to use it. I don't know how that slipped my Enough mind. Enough of your mindless prattle, minion. Show me my innators. Okay, okay, sheesh. Testy. First up is the disintegrator innator, Weak. which... Okay, uh, then we also have the galaxy innator, which... Weak. The deresonator. Weak. The overhang and they Weak. The upper deck. The pickle slicing. Weak. The stand and Weak. The board. Weak. The Weak. The Weak. Weak. Ah, oh, come on. I was just inhaling. The Julianinator isn't plugged in. All we have is the go-hominator. Meaning Perry the Platypus is home. Ah! Evil Flynn Fletcher robots. Let's drop by the Flynn Fletcher house. Hogan. Two Dutch queens of the double Dutch We skip better than you by that Let's watch our feet, our moves are sweet Our double Dutch in what <laughs> uh, Perry the platypus, how did you get stuck in my double Dutch machine? That's not even a trap! Anyway, what are you doing here? Oh, that? The, the beam that I shot through my roof? I think, well, that was just an accidental misfire from my sphere attractinator. Luckily, it was pointed up, so it didn't hit anything. Anyway, I started thinking and realized the true oven. And normally I'd be all about telling you, and it's a really cool plan too. It involves my latest invention, the peach cobbler inator. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. I have to tell you about yesterday for any of this to make any sense. Sorry. Anyway, behold the Aliki faucet inator. I have to take over the tri state area by 3 30 if I want to make curtain. Uh, that doesn't. Leave me much time for, you know, the trapping and the fighting. So instead I built this, the trip to the desert inator. It's going to send you to the desert and I can get on with my day. Want. And to that end, behold the big sad eye inator. You like it? I've got to get ugly and possibly hairy. I've got to learn to be more like the abominable snowman. So I decided to build this. Behold, the abominable mate. The abominable... The abominable-inator. See, I can only see if I speak slowly. The abominable-inator. Oh, look, if I, if I separate it, it works. The abominable-inator. It makes whatever it hits bigger and scarier and hairier. I, I had no idea. You see, back in Druselstein, change was frowned upon. Any change. Uh, you couldn't change your channel on your TV. You couldn't change your underwear. And forget about changing your hairstyle. You'd, you'd end up in jail. But here in the new world, we embrace change. Apparently. And that's why I came up with the resolution changer in Aethor. I am hungry. And then, boom, down you went. <laughs> And are you hungry, Perry the Platypus? Well, too bad it's not for you, it's for them! <laughs> Behold! My feed the pigeons in Aethar! Get version of the game. Really, I'm surprised you didn't see it flying in. Okay, beholding time! Behold! My Lufaflex Dill Picklinator! Been able to restore his car. A 1957 Druselstein Boomschlacker 320 Mwah! Ain't she a honey? Competition, I built a little gadget called the Rustinator. At the push of a button, it will reduce every other car into red dust. Or rust. Wait, red dust, rust. Anyway, you are just in time to witness as I activate the Kinderlumperinator and transform myself into a real live Kinderlumper. What? Don't tell me you've never heard of the Kinderlumper. You know, a gigantic troll with sharp teeth, nose like a broom handle, he grabs children, puts them in a gunder sack if they... You never heard of this? Canada Day celebration. Answer? 
Never! Because I've tied up the conductor and taken control of the train using my remote control train operator inator. Right now, we are all headed to my scheme exchange partner's secret fortress. Hey, cut it out. Those are mine. Seriously, I can get the waiter over here if you want to order your own, but please. This evil exchange... Anyway, you may be wondering why you're in an ophthalmologist chair. Well, it seems that I've come into a bit of good fortune. Some technology of mine is being used in eye examination equipment, and I've been getting royalty checks. The extra money is fine and all, but it really chafes my hide that something I invented is being used for good. Ugh. Uh, you know what I mean? So, so I invented the eye foginator. It will temporarily blur the vision of whomever it hits. It will then force people to go out and get their eyes checked. And then I'll get even more money, which I can then spend on evils. Hume that I need to exploit. Behold, the Arominator! What I always do. Solve a simple problem by inventing a complicated and menacing machine. All I have to do is blast Beverly with this and pzz, she'll be like, oh, I guess you can have it because it's not not winter. And suddenly I'm drinking minty wink eggnog, baby. Perhaps then I can make myself not not ruler of the tri-state area, huh? huh? You didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, don't be cranky, Perry the Platypus. You can have wondering why I'm in City Hall, right? Well, I plan to go down into the secret City Hall vault and steal that. Oh, you, you know that, right? I mean, right, right, of course, because that's probably why you're here, to stab me, right? But what you probably don't know is how I will get into the vault without being noticed. Behold, my blend into the background in Aether. I will be able to search out and steal the hidden deed because, like they say, it's easier to find a hidden object when you're hidden as well. Right, right that's a the thing, they say that. Anyway, I place the innator on my head, like so. I press this button and I, I'm here, and now I'm blended in because Drusselstinian food is terrible. That's the beauty of it. Nobody will be able to finish even one plate's worth. My profit margin will be huge. But first, I've got to eliminate the competition. With this, the eat it all innator. You see, it gives people a huge appetite, so everyone will eat so much that all of these all-you-can-eat places will go out of business. Then my restaurant, will be packed! <laughs> Maniacal laughter. He dazzles important guests with his magnetic charm. But what if he were unable to charm anyone because his fabulous dinner parties were over before they began? That's why I created this. The Bring Out the Dessertinator! All the stores, but it's not selling as well as I thought it would. I don't know why, it's even got a catchy name. Get Back Hair! Get Back Hair! It should be flying off the shelves. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, that is about to change. Behold, the Switch Placinator! Why do you look so unimpressed? I I'll explain. I simply fly over town in my biplane, right off, and I look for someone with a receding hairline standing next to someone with a full head of hair. I fire and presto, the hairdo switch places. The person who was formerly hairline challenged is thrilled, and the other guy is, well, he's gonna spend a lot of money to get his hair back. Thus, get back hair. Get back hair. Here, I'll show you how it works. It's no use trying to break through my protective bubble. It's platterproof poof. I mean, well, you know what I mean. Anyway, you're probably wondering what I am doing driving this evil bug bus around town. I just got to thinking about all the things that bug me, like portable outhouses, high voltage signs, danger, high voltage. I'll decide how much voltage I can take. That's why I created the Bugs Neonator. Or wondering why my building has been turning 90 degrees every now and then. Well, that's because I was just testing out my 90 degree Terminator. You're aware of this, but my brother Roger is the mayor. All right, I may have touched upon the subject from time to time, but you know, I figured why not mention it again just for clarity. Anyway, that job gives him all these cool mayoral powers. So I created the Power Drainator to drain all his powers into this canister. And then I, Heinz Doofenshmirtz, get to wield them. Just think, I will have the power to raise taxes, pass legislation, and, and even cut the ceremonial ribbon at openings. What I'm working on now. Behold, the Slothinator! It will give me the powers of a sloth, which are super slowness and super leaf eating. 
Welcome to my Hall of Inathors. Ah, uh, here's a good one. This this was my oatmeal to porridge inathor. I know it's a fine distinction. Don't get me started. And here's my multi helio tactical baboon glominator. I, I think that one's self explanatory. Oh, and uh, here's my waffle inathor. Heavy junk mail. I do not understand. These machines are useless. What is wrong with this man? Maybe he is a misunderstood genius. Or maybe he is a perfectly understood idiot. And finally, my disintegrator in Aethar. Pretty impressive, huh? I just want to stop that guy from playing his bagpipes every day, 24 hours a day. I mean, look at him. On what planet is that racket considered music? Oh, I cannot take it anymore. So I'm going to hit his bagpipe with my inflatinator. Yeah, I, I know, it's basically the opposite of my old deflatinator, but I can't concentrate with all that noise. I was lucky to come up with that, but when that bagpipe blows up, I will once again be able to hear the usual din ringing through the city streets. Doreen, come on, quit kidding around. <gasps> Perry the platypus, you found the declutterinator. Excellent. Okay, shoot me, shoot me, and I'll clean this whole place up. Oh, wait, what, what, what? It's, oh, it's not plugged in. Hold on one second. Yahoo. You should know that that mysterious book that you are trapped in has a very interesting chapter about bum, 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 the inexplicable giant floating baby head. Wow, that was weird. Wonder if that's gonna happen every time I say the inexplicable giant floating baby head. Oh, cool. Hey, watch this. The inexplicable giant floating baby ham sandwich. Uh -huh. Anyway, the chapter says that if you get close enough to touch the, uh, the inexplicable giant floating, you know, you get three wishes. Pretty sweet, huh? The rest of the chapter was devoted to the giant floating rest of the baby, but since I've never seen one in Danville, I didn't finish. So how am I going to get the baby head to come to me? Behold, the inexplicable giant floating baby head attractinator! Ed was create an innator that would make things larger. Uh -huh. I tried it out on my cowboy hat. It was a success! My 10-gallon hat had turned into a 2,000-gallon hat! Wow! Turns out that every object has a positive or negative energy field. I harnessed that positive and negative energy and created the stink or cramp in an eighth hour. You see? What I'll do is I'll zap myself with good luck, and then I'll go zap Roger with bad luck. Then I will ascend to become the mayor of Danville, and then I will rule the entire tri-state... I will rule the entire tri-state area. The worst fear in Aethor! What? A consultant. To keep my chi in balance, I came up with this. Behold! The back to the star in Aethor! Now, instead of waiting in those ridiculously long lines at the return counter, I scan each item. And presto, it's transported back to the store where I bought it. Ow. She earned my Boomschlag a 320i to meet the Grand Prix specs. I also added some extras that should take care of, like, 99% of the playing field. There's still that 1% Paolo Vanderbeek. But uh, I got something else to take care of him. Behold, my I don't care in Aethor! It's not that I don't care. It creates apathy in whoever it hits. It's a little esoteric, I know, but trust me, it'll work. A PF120 sunscreen, even on a cloudy day, or I'll burn. I mean, I'll actually burst into flame. And I got this whole crate on sale, and, and look, it's all 110 SPF. I thought I was getting 120. This is not gonna work. So, rather than return this whole mess, which means I'd have to get in a car, drive down there, wait in line, then answer a bunch of questions about the delicacy of my epidermis, I'm just gonna move the earth away from the sun just enough that the 110 will work. Simple. And to that end, I have created, ta-da, my shift the earth's position further away from the sun in Aethar. Gotcha, Perry the Platypus. If you think this is a sticky situation, you better hold on to that fedora. Behold, the gum under the shoe in Aethar. I took all the watered up chewing gum in the entire tri-state area and fed it into this anaether. Yeah, I know. It's really unsanitary. Why don't people just throw the chewing gum in the trash, huh? I digress. I can finally have my revenge with this, the Sorginator! <laughs> Now, before I let you loose on the OWCA, this should make you much more formidable. 
I like to call it my, 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 uh, I guess the escalator wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh, well, live and learn. Anyway, I like to call it my transmogrification backpackinator. It'll give you a robotic exoskeleton that can transform into almost anything. And it's perfect to wear undercover. No one will ever suspect. Like Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Well, my ex-wife Charlene is out of the country on one of those extreme eco-cultural exploration vacations. I, I don't know what they do on those trips, but I imagine it's very expensive. Oh, she's got some nerve. That's, that's my alimony she's throwing away. And the worst is she keeps texting me these pics. Oh, come on, really? Anyway, the problem is I've already spent this month's alimony on my new Nathor, and, and now I don't have enough money left to send Vanessa to the Grievance movie marathon she wants to see. And they're playing all the Grievance movies in order. They've got the Grievance, they've got Grievance 2, the Gripe, Grievance 3, Bone to Pick, and Grievance 4, the Revenge of the Italian Jug Band. And I don't think that last one is canon. Oh, what kind of father am I? Oh, oh, the shame is overwhelming. I can't even enjoy using my new teleportinator. For my latest in Nathar. Be hard! I know what you're thinking, and no, I did not invent a spray bottle, Perry the Platypus. Just stay with me through my backstory, all right? You see, I was reading the Danville City Charter again when I learned an interesting fact. Back in 1805, Danville actually elected a warthog as mayor. The public was fed up with the previous administration and thought, hey, what's the worst that could happen? Nepotism, that's what. He filled the cabinet with his uncles and brothers and distant cousins, and all of City Hall was full of swine. Except for one chair that they kept empty so, you know, it wouldn't be so conspicuous. So, it was decided never to allow another warthog to be in a position of authority. P Perry the Platypus, are you texting while I'm monologuing? You know, I'm just gonna hold on to this until I'm done, because I, I can get your full attention. Anyway, I'm thinking nepotism, City Hall, my brother Roger, and suddenly I know what to do. Turn my brother into a warthog. So, through the use of pseudo-technology, I created this elixir that when sprayed on an individual actually transforms them into a warthog. What? I said pseudo. Anyway, once I collected enough elixir, I put it in this, my warthog sprayer see? There's a method to my lameness. Air and bangs and, you know, as it turns out, Mercury has been in retrograde all summer. No wonder my evil schemes keep failing. And that is why I invented the unretrograde anathar. You know, to reverse my bad luck. You know, all in one. Trap carry the platypus, check. Demonstrate anathar, check. And now that just leaves backstory, light lunch, take over the tri-state area, and schedule painters. Only 75% of my list left. I am on fire today. All right, so let's get down to business. Ever since I switched pizza places, you, you remember that whole pizza day debacle, right? Uh, okay, well, anyway, my orders now are all showing up cold. Nothing I can do to change that because, you know, I'm a lousy tipper. So I invented this, the impersonator -anator. When they get a load of this... It's a Sith the Nader, it's a really cool machine. My evil will be greater than Darth Vader's ever been, you ask. All those haters from Naboo to Tatooine, they'll say, Wow, that Dolphin Schmertz is mean! Now that we got the basics covered, we can get to the fun part. Let's start with trapping your nemesis. Name tag, you're it! The keys to a good trap are the element of surprise, and also if you're gonna work in a good pun. That's always nice. Uh, what about constraint and effectiveness? Yeah, that, that, that'll be covered in the thwarting portion of our seminar. Don't, don't get ahead of yourself. Okay, step four is the big reveal. Behold the motivated Nathan! The music stinks. That totally ups the drama. I digress. Behold the repulsinator! Whoever I hit with this Nathan will automatically... Corporate was it? Is it Thursday already? Hmm. Well, then, let me go get my shoes and my ball and then... Wait, where's your stuff? Huh? Oh, no, that's not evil, so, so I don't think it counts. Oh, wait a minute. Did I set off the innate alert? Oh, that is so funny. Probably scared the heck out of Commander Carl, huh? Oh, well, I, I know it can look intimidating, but th there's no reason to be afraid. It, it isn't evil. It isn't even the innator. The innator is this gold chain. Once it's charged, I'm going to put it around my neck, and it will activate the insecurity parts of my brain and trigger a full-blown midlife crisis. Allow me to explain in song. Try Governor Nathan! Oh. Wow, actually, 
actual drum roll. Galactic Travelinator! You mean, like a spaceship? But it's an innator. There's a difference. It's branding. Leave me alone. Come on, get on. Huh? Here we go. Selfie mode. Everybody smile. <laughs> Wait a second. No, one sec. Dad. Oh, I get it. The nearest chicken used to be on Earth. Now there's one on this planet, so it's nearer. So as long as this chicken is here, we won't be able to... Wait a minute. Accidents can happen. Dad, we're not going to kill this chicken. So what are we going to do? <laughs> Machine. Well, it just so happens I've already built a time machine! Behold! The Time Travelinator! Fascinating. It looks like a taco. I'm gonna be someone important in the future! Me! Who'd have thought, right? Maybe you're waiting for my reveal. Maybe that's it. Behold! The Shock Absorber Absorbinator! It finds all the shock absorbers in the tri-state area and absorbs them into this canister. No, please don't play as the- oh. What? Taxi. Now this is ridiculous. I bet just that raccoon dunking the remote again. All right, it's on. No, what are you doing, dude? If you can't blast him with that thing. Relax, it's a transportinator. It's just gonna send him across town somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. He's always interrupting. Hey, you notice how I let her finish before I sprung up there so I don't always interrupt her. That's hey, just... what you got there, Doof? It's a reconstitutinator. I bought a bunch of raisins, I wanted grapes, but I can't seem to get it to work. Hey, those are some pretty nice Dr. Zone pajamas there. I have can't get it off. How are you supposed to get it off? You can't touch it. It's been both inside someone's mouth and on the ground. That's like the two most disgusting places on Earth. But no longer. Behold, the Degominator! I can rid the city of sticky sidewalk gum forever. I can just pick it up. Behold, and... the Shrink Denator! <laughs> it's supposed to shrink. I don't, I don't know why it got so big. And what's more, I don't know why it's moving on its own volition. <laughs> Dioji, go home. You shouldn't be at school. Oh, 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 wait. Domestic animal loose in the classroom. Total candidate for Murphy's Law. I got this. Time for the go home anator. <laughs> Is everyone beholding? Maybe you should go check out the gift shop. Oh, good idea. I think I have a dollar in change. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know I had this. I wonder what it does. <laughs> Oh, now I remember it does that. Wait, how is that alive? Well, technically, alive implies the existence of a soul, free will, the ability to enjoy fondue. I would just call this animated and expertly storyboarded. James Kim. Well, it used to be a shenanigans tracker or a shenaniganator, but I've rigged it into a negative probability ions tracker. That means Milo and his Murphy's Law should set it off. Got no body. I joke to hide my pain. Hey, Dr. D, what's all this stuff? Oh, just a box of old handheld inators. Cool. What's this gizmo? Well, Milo's friend, this one's a hand-to-foot-inator. It changes a hand into a foot. I used it to get revenge on my stuck-up cousin Wolfgang, who was a, a hand model. Now he's a foot model, very successful, so, you know, that didn't work. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Dust devil inator. The... Oh, this one's a chicken replace-inator. You shoot something, it switches places with the nearest chicken. <laughs> Da! This is my robotic hamper helper inator. I, I'm I'm still working on the name. Anyway, it should pick up all the clothes and take them to the laundry room for us. Okay, but did you have to dump all your clean clothes down here too? I just wanted to give it a challenge. And it has a tongue. Wow. It's simple. All I had to do was get a sample of Cavendish's DNA and put it inside my clone inator. Your clone inator. Hey man, you want to get inside Cavendish's head? I give you Cavendish's head on a platypus.
was spotty. Okay, guys, break it up. I'm off. Well, I did bring some inators with me. Let's see. We got the chicken replacinator and the reducinator. Hey, maybe we could shoot that at the sphere. Are there even chickens on this planet? No, the reducinator. Oh, the reducinator. <gasps> That would totally work better. One blast with this baby and it'll turn all those negative probability ions into little itty bitty ionitas as the spare.